sometime nature will determine the next step for us in our garden. Normally, I leave my winter greens in place until it's time to pull the winter greens and get ready to plant up my spring display. The weather in the St. Louis region has really heated up to where now my winter greens, they were not able to sustain themselves in the front entryway here. So they're really starting to look more of an eyesore. Even these containers right here, they're also really looking extremely bad, you all. And we are supposed to have temperatures in the 50s and 60s. So I'm going to just go ahead and just start just cleaning out all four of these containers that I have in my front entryway just give it more of a transitional look from the winter time until I get ready to plant out my spring containers in this area. everything's cleaned out I want to reserve my pine cones for the next year so typically they're put on with a little wire can you guys see the wire here it's brown so the only thing I'm gonna do is just simply just make a cut so the wire can you guys see that wire it's real small because they use a smaller gauge for the wire so I'm just coming in and I'm just cutting that off just like that there we go that's one all right here is another wire I'm gonna cut that as well yet another wire we're gonna cut that as well save the wire if you want to but the wire is kind of tacked down really hard so this is going to get tossed in the trash There's about four holes, or let's say two, in the containers that are housing the standard hydrangeas. I brought out some soil because we need to make sure that we are protecting the roots of the hydrangea. So it's very simple. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to give a nice big helping of soil here. And I'm going to fill this area back in with some nice lofty soil. really can see it and this one right here there is a hole about this deep down in this pot right here can you guys see how deep that hole is so we want to try to give our roots some protection so we're just going to fill that in just like that i'm just going to go down in there to make everything just look nice and neat we'll just go in and just top dress with some potting soil just like that see how much neater that looks in this area right here now we'll address the front containers daffodils have been outside where they have been acclimated to the temperature here now they've been in these little plastic pots once we move them into the bigger container they'll be able to stay more warm so let's go ahead and i'll show you where we're going to put these beautiful daffodils at come on you guys
the temperatures dropped below freezing last night. I was not concerned about the daffodils. This is where they have been being housed and this is where they continue to grow. And they're gonna be perfectly fine. These daffodils are going to still bloom. And I left the birch logs in place. I put the daffodil in the middle and then I dressed the outside of the container with Spanish moss. The reason being, I wanted to simulate a transition from our winter garden right into our spring and I felt like it would be very fitting to go in and use the Spanish moss versus coming in with the green. The moss is tacked down by some landscape staples to secure the Spanish moss in place. That way if we get a strong wind, it's not going to blow the moss everywhere. Sometime nature will determine the next step for us in our garden. I did not have time to go in and just let my winter greens be without having the ornaments inside. Foliage was starting to brown. It was just looking really bad. So I just wanted to just pull everything, give everything a fresh look. Just give it a facelift up here and add some transitional spring color to my winter garden. Make sure that I keep you all updated on how these daffodils did in these front containers. Drop down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about these simple spring containers. I would love to hear about them. And I definitely want to know have you all started putting out any type of transitional containers into your winter garden? Drop down in the comment box and let me know.